Hey, welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Visit Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me in the studio. As you can see I got my little Molly with me today, haven't we Molly? And we're gonna paint some dolphins, and we certainly are, aren't we? So let's have a look at the colours we're gonna be using today, are we? Yes, let's have a look. Well we've got some ultramarine blue. We've got some ultramarine blue, but there look, yes, and we got some cardinum yellow. And we got some burnt number, some Mars black, and say titanium white. Yes. And we got a small selection of brushes, which I'll go through in a minute. Now I've got to put Molly down, because she'll kiss me till the end of the day otherwise, won't you? Okay, so say bye bye Molly. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> okay, there we go. Good girl. Okay, let's just I'm just adjusting my easel. <laughs> okay, I need to adjust a few cameras now. Yes, because I just dropped my easel down. There we go. There. Right. And that was Molly that just joined me in the studio. Yes. So as I said, a small selection of brushes. I've got a small angled shader. I've got a one inch short flat and I've got a detail brush. Now I'm hoping that's all the ones that I'm going to uh, use today. And um, these are graduate by Dale and Roney. Uh, please pop along to the descriptions underneath you. And um, if you want to buy some of these, I'll see how much they are. There's a link there to Amazon. Yes, there certainly is. Okay, so I'm just going to put a couple of them one side. I'm going to moisten down my palette. And the brushes have already been pre-soaked. So nothing to worry about there. I'm going to pick up some white on my brush. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of ultramarine blue. So I've got white ultramarine blue on the same brush. A brush. Brush. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to push that in like that. Now I'm going to put this on quite thickly today because I don't want to do many layers. And um, I say I say in other videos that um, acrylic painting is a layer painting process, and it is. But let's see if we can get away with just a couple of layers today. So I'm just going to round my line work like that. I'm going to moist down my canvas. Now this canvas might get a little bit flippy floppy because I haven't put the keys in. Keys are those little white things that we we put in the back to keep them taut. And I haven't done that today. So I'm expecting my canvas to go a bit floppy with the moisture. But it doesn't, doesn't worry me at all, that doesn't. So I'm just going to bring in the white, ultramarine blue and white basically. Just putting it in like that. You should see my canvas starting to go a bit floppy. I want a nice light area around my dolphin. There you go. using the very edge of the brush, as we talked about before, using the very edge of the brush to get a little bit of colour, a little bit of moisture. And I want it a bit lighter down here. A bit darker, a bit, I mean, a bit darker. A little bit of light coming in. Just taking the time just to go around my line work. Just taking the time. I just want to preserve that line work where I can. just moistening down the, the canvas and my brush. Now I would say this is a fairly easy painting um, but if you're a beginner you might be saying are you joking Clive and uh, <laughs> just a lot of people too tend to say that are you joking easy you make it look easy yes I know I make it look easy and there's a lot of other artists out there that make things look easy as well but we do try to to give you the the easiest approach that we know of painting and um, to coin a phrase it's not easy to make it easy <laughs> especially when you're used to painting 
like I do what I'm painting for myself and uh, as I said I can sit here for literally days sometimes just doing a painting not a matter of an hour or 30 minutes or something like that and I'm sure that you should take your time and if it takes you a couple of days to uh, do a painting that that's shown on uh, the channel then that's that's good so I'm just trying to get that look of light coming through because th these uh, two dolphins are under the water as you can see and I'm just trying to get that to look as if there's a little bit of glow coming through was said to me the other week that um, well, you never seem to put much paint on your palette and uh, that is certainly true because I don't like wasting paint and even if I had loads of paint I'd still be exactly the same because that's how I work that's how I work I don't I don't like I'd rather put extra paint on my palette than just waste it and I've wasted so much paint over the years that it's just the way I am now so I'm just bringing in a little bit of colour trying to work fast because it is warm in the studio as you can tell by the beads of sweat rolling down my forehead <laughs> it does, get a, does tend to get a little bit warm in here but I don't mind because in the winter I'm normally freezing and I've got my thermals on <laughs> And I got the heaters going full blast. So I'm just going to add a little bit more titanium white to my palette. Because I wasn't sure exactly how much titanium white I would use. So I thought, well, it's best to err on the side of caution. And again, it's going to be a little bit darker down here. Just ultramarine blue and white. That's all it is. Just ultramarine blue and white. A little bit darker. A little bit darker down here. Smoothing the paint in. We're a bit darker over here. Let's work it in. A bit a little bit of white paint just to get that tone of blue that I'm looking for. Straight into some neat ultramarine blue. I'm trying to be mindful where I'm sitting because these cameras. <laughs> I gotta make sure I'm in shot and not some cameras I gotta make sure I'm in shot and other cameras I gotta make sure I'm not in shot. 
So uh, let's, let's just get this nice and dark down here now. Just straight, plain, plain or trembling blue now. Just rough it in like that. Same brush, just using this one inch short flat. That's all we're worried about at the moment. Get a bit of white on the brush now and just come back in. Don't forget that's a bit dry up there now, so we've got to make sure that we blend into that. That should have dried off by now. And I'm just mixing a little bit of white on my brush just to get that. So just just so far, it's all we're using is ultramarine blue and white. ultramarine blue and white. There you are, just bringing that down. Bit of white. Get a bit of light dancing on the top. How's that looking? It looks pretty good so far. Yes, it does. Okay, what we're going to do now is block in our two dolphins. So I'm going to get a smaller brush, I'm going to get a one inch again. Um, I'm just going to, let me just wet my palette, I'm going to my, my paper's got dry. There you go. There we are. So I'm looking at um, a very pale, very pale colour, because I'm going to go from light to dark. There we are, I want to go lighter than that. bit of black of that with that I think. I want to make a dolphins tend to be a bit on a grey side don't they? They're a like blue grey. That's better. Let's add a little bit more black to that. Let's get a nice blue grey. bit of black, let's just darken that up.
and mixing onto the directly onto the canvas. Don't forget we're trying to limit the amount of layers we're going to be doing. So we're trying to build this up as we speak and just making a little bit of a, a darker colour. Because I want to come down here like this. Bit of moisture and just think of the shape of this dolphin because that's going to go under there like that. using the same small flat half inch short flat just darken that up again just changing that colour blending it in very very gently tickling the back of my hand like that remember I've said this in other lessons so just be mindful of that you don't need a lot of pressure and sometimes you'd be surprised what you can do with just one of these small brushes you certainly can so I'm following a reference photograph of a dolphin which is important because I don't know I can't remember what dolphins look like. I've, I've painted a couple in, the time, in my time, but it's been a while, so I'm just mixing a bit of white to that. Just trying to get that smooth transition. And bringing a bit of blue into it, a bit of moisture. Cooling our grey down. Bit of light. I want a bit lighter than that. So let's just put this. Right. Bit of black. Just play with a little bit of colour. That's going to be tacky up there now, so it's going to pull off a little bit. Might have to get a detailing brush for his eye. Oh, it's, it's a mother, it is actually for her eye, I should say, shouldn't I? Let's get this down.
get a little bit of black now just in here just to because that's going to be a bit of shadow there trying to work with one brush which is not easy because you tend to want to change brushes but I want to show you today that you can work with just one brush or just a selection of a couple of brushes just to get the effect you're looking to do and it's just knowing where really to put a little bit of light just mixing that color again ultramarine blue white a little bit of black a nice gray I gotta come. That's his, oh, that's what it was, that's what's throwing me. Got his little fin coming out there like that. Darker this side now. I'm gonna you always know when I'm having fun because I don't talk much. <laughs> I really enjoy painting and it's really nice to to have you in the studio with me again today and um, you've seen Molly she's gone off now and she's gone to sleep I think on the floor there somewhere bring in a bit of light into that. Now um just need to get a, a little bit of a mist just blending this paint together keeping the shadows in place there you go I want to get a bit of blue just want to get a bit of blue on my brush I just want to bring in a bit of blue just around there I want to make this. I want to make this a bit bluer down here. It's my shadow. Trying to get the shape of this. I don't know what they call it. It's a peak. I think it's a peak.
we want to put a definite shadow under this one. Oops, I just picked up a bit of yellow. No! Oh no! Actually, that's giving me an idea. Actually, that's just giving me an idea. Let's put a bit of yellow. Let's make a green. Let's mix a bit of black to that. I want to make a green. Put a bit of green in. Contaminated my grey now. Let's make it a bit more blue. Where were we? That's where we were. Darker than that. Want it darker than that. There we are. Just a touch, touch a hint of green there. And I need to put this lighter. This is getting a bit sticky now, so I'm just going to pick up another half inch short flat. Just want to blend this in. I'm putting the paint on a bit thicker than I would normally put it on, but um, a bit of black. I'm trying to get away with layers. Before we lose this, let's get let's get the baby in. Blending the colours together a little bit, but there now just to, to marry them up a bit, basically. She's actually touching the mother. That's why there's that shadow there that I try to establish. Just darkening that shadow off. 
with some black now. I'll put a bit of black there. Washing my brush, checking my cameras. Yep, okay, checking the cameras. Going back into some grey. And I'm just going to put his tail in there. Like that, and there's his little flipper coming out there. And we'll just establish the bottom of his flipper. And there. Merging a bit of this grey green. A little reflection of green there. We're going to pull in a bit of this black now so we can merge all that together like that. Get a bit more of this. lighter type of grey put his beak in place switch into a tea tail brush picking up some black and this is a number six detailing brush so I'm just gonna drop in an eye Put a bit of light there. How's that look on camera? I'm looking pretty good, I think. Picking up a bit of this blue now, and it's just marrying around. Have a bit of blue. I just concentrate in this so if I don't talk I do apologize just I just want to get a bit of light reflection on the baby there you go just smoothing that in I don't want any rough edges just that'll be fine I think looks pretty good a bit of shadow down there increasing that shadow now back into this um, light color let's just mix up a bit more
bit too late. Bit too late. Bit of highlight now. I think I'm going back into my detailing brush, back into this grey. I'm going to find the eyelid, I think. I'm trying to find the eyelid. Constantly checking my reference photograph. Cleaning my brush, picking up a bit of that light grey now just to Bit of highlight. And that. Small amount of white on the tip of my brush. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. What I want to do now is just get a very, very light wash of ultramarine blue. And just go around there like that. Painted with me before, you know I like washes, but this is just to just slightly blur off that edge there. I wasn't quite happy with that edge, so if that's the case, then you can you can just put a little bit of blue wash just over there, like that. Put a bit of blue there, just wash off the edge. blue wash down here. Be careful you don't go over the paint if it's wet. That's not what you want. That's not the effect that you were looking for. Again, just going round the edge. What I want to do now is get a bit of this green that we mixed. Get a bit of brown. It look like a bit of coral or something. Some more brown, put in some rock shapes. Get 
a bit of black. Just put a little bit of black in here and there like that. Same brush. Again, mixing in a bit of this. Bit of grey. Get some Some coral shapes. Mix a bit of burnt umber with uh, yellow. Mix a bit of burnt umber and yellow just to get a maybe a little bit of sand there. Make it look like a seabed, really. I don't know what a seabed looks like, really, but you see, <laughs> I hope you can see what I'm trying to do. Some coral shapes. Some coral shapes. Some coral. And as little are as many as you want, really. I got my Molly barking in the background here. Just put a little bit of. effects on the. on the seabed. There you go. What we could do then, if we wanted to, is just get a little bit of moisture on our brush. Just put a few watermarks. This on the Heads of the dolphin there like that. There's, there's, there's a few water sun rays coming through. A few sun rays coming through and they're just catching the dolphin. And then you can just touch up where you want. And that is <laughs> dolphins as quick as I can paint them. So, <laughs> yes, I'm gonna just gonna sign my name in there today. So have a good day, a good week, a good month, a good year. As I hope you were gonna try this at home. Take your time. Don't try and do it in the same time scale as I've done it. Um, that is as quick as I could possibly do in about two, maybe two layers. Yes, two layers. But spend time on it and you can get this painting looking absolutely fantastic so all it remains me to say is have a good day a good week a good month a good year and i will see you on the next session so grab your brush have a great time